Hola, hola. Kamusta kay Jan, mga kampanyeros, mga kameta, kampanyeros. Ayan, mga senyoritas. How are you guys? Alam ko, gabi na dyan uh, sa atin sa Pilipinas. Sir, bago kayo matulog, sabi ko, habol na tayo. Uh, ang dami kong kaya, gusto kong i-post talaga over the past few days. You know, grabe talaga yung schedule natin dito. At ang hirap talaga yung time difference. Kasi 7-8 hours difference between dito sa Europe. Tsaka dyan sa, sa Pilipinas. So pag gising pa lang natin 7-8am, medyo ano na, hapon na dyan. Habol-habol sa meetings, habol-habol sa mga writings. By the time na pwede na tayo mag-meta or tapos na tayo sa mga pagbisita, ayan na mga kameta, gabi na, natutulog na kayo. Pero anyway, sabi natin bago tayo on the move na naman tayo, sabi ko, let's, let's file our own daily vlog. Para man, hindi niya sasabihin na hindi ko kayo nami-miss at hindi ko kayo... Ano, hindi kayo importante sa akin, mga kameta. Kamusta kayo dyan? Ayan, ayan. No, I, I'm really, um, uh, how should I put it? Last month, di ba, sabi natin na medyo, um, medyo, um, burnout tayo, di ba? Uh, so, I, I would say that I was very grateful na over the past few days, even if super hectic yung schedule natin, hanggang 2-3 a.m., tapos pagising 8 a.m., habol ganun. Despite all of that, I would say, Uh, finally, I'm glad we had some chance to go out and get some fresh air. To be honest, guys, mas malapit kasi weather dito, especially sa Southern Europe, uh, sa Baguio, uh, yung mga 14, 15, 16 degrees. Nakakapaglakad tayo na mabuti. So, eto, na-preserve natin yung ating figure. No, <laughs> no honestly, like, kahit ang lakas. <laughs> Siyempre, ako pa, di ba? Paella ka agad yan. Talagang, hindi pwede na mag-Espanya ako, tapos hindi nagpaella. Tapos yung paella ng... Madrilianos is a bit different dun sa paella ng nakilala natin, Valenciano style or paella na natatry natin pag nasa Ibiza tayo or Catalan area tayo. Yung paella dito, nila dito, ano eh, sobrang wet, no? Sobrang watery and all, parang almost Japanese rice. But still, na-appreciate natin, pero wala na siya. Alam mo yung mga sa ilalim na, yung umidikit-dikit sa ilalim, yung sarap nun, nako, sarap talaga nun. Wala, walang ganun yung paella nila. Pero kahit nagpapaya tayo and all because of walking, 6-7,000 steps a day on average. Thank God na not only na ba-burn out natin yung mga paya, no? at saka malaking serving sila dito. Ah, alam mo guys, ito ha, ah, una-una, mas mura pa dito sa Madrid at saka mga ibang syudad dito sa Europa. Hindi ko masabi yung iba eh. Mas medyo mahal sa Germany at saka yung ibang Nordic countries or London. Pero sa marami mga syudad dito sa Europa, alam mo mas mura dito kumain sa labas kaysa sa Pilipinas. Grabe sa Pilipinas, kumain ka lang siguro, paya, ganun, konting ganun. Abutan ka ng 1,000-1,500. Dito, dito, less than 1,000, makahanap ka ng mga matitinong food and all. So, I mean, I was, I was, I mean, I'm just surprised at how expensive Manila talaga is. And to imagine, guys, yung, yung average income ng mga Espanyol dito ay napakataas. Si, Siyempre, European level na ito mga to, hindi Eastern Europe talaga, almost... Italy, uh, I think kasing level ng Italy at uh, almost French level, no? So, siguro yung average income nila dito, what, five, ten times more than sa Pilipinas. And yet, yung expenditures mo dito ay sobrang, sobrang mas, minsan mas mababa talaga eh. Kaya nga, biro ng ibang kaibigan natin dito, nakakapag-save pa sila dito sa pagkain, etc. At uh, by the way, of course, ang sinasabi natin dito, ito yung bibili ka pa ng food sa labas. Pwede ka siyempre magluto. Yung supermarket nga, kumuha ko ng tubig na isang, ano, laki talaga ng tubig na gano'n, wala, 25 pesos. Mas mura pa yung tubig dito kaysa sa Pilipinas. So talaga minsan mapapaisip ka talaga kasi siyempre sa ASEAN region, pumupunta tayo sa Vietnam, pumupunta sa tayo sa Thailand, in, uh, Indonesia not so much, but Vietnam, Malaysia, yung mga bansa na medyo as, uh, asensado, no? Uh, or progresibo. Mas mura talaga sa Pilipinas. As kaya tayo mga kameta na... I was living in uh, Taiwan, di ba, for a while as a visiting uh, researcher. Nakaka-order ka ng chicken na ganun kalaki, guys. Super, ah. super laki, ah. Presyo niya para mga 70 pesos, 80 pesos. Grabe, sobrang mas mura talaga doon. Tapos yung jolly. Pero mas mahal yung jolly bee dito. Ito talaga. So, eh, magpo-post pa tayo yung mga kameta, mga ano natin. And, and again, ito, guys. I'll be honest, daw. Siyempre, dahil sa trahedya na nangyari sa Turkey and all of At Syria, Turkey and Syria. Medyo wala tayo sa mood na mag-post ng yung mga ibang medyo wacky or medyo ano natin. Alam mo naman, di ba? So, out of sensitivity, hindi ko pa pa pinapost mga yan. Siguro next week na lang once, ano. Siyempre, nakikiramay talaga tayo. Sobrang nakakalungkot talaga nangyari. At uh, tayo po, eh, siyempre, biktima din tayo ng earthquake na sobrang lakas sa bagay before. So, at uh, 
na-follow ko rin yung news ng konti nung, nung last time na may major earthquake sa Turkey at Syria. So, huwag natin kalimutan guys sa Syria and Turkey. At, na, at, at sobrang malungkot kasi apektado din yung mga yung mga ano eh yung mga refugees from Syria pa na pumunta pa sa Turkey yung mga gana sobrang malungkot talaga so so medyo hindi tayo nag-post masyado but hindi talaga maiwasan na mag uh, uh, mag-vlog tayo na live especially kung ito yung mga lugar na talagang malaki yung uh, kalagaan para sa ating mga Pilipino dahil nakikita talaga natin yung yung connection natin dito sa Espanya by the way of course mga kameta hindi natin nire-romanticize din natin sinasabi na oh, perfect dito perfect. No, of course, colonialism was horrible. Ang dami nilang masamang ginawa. Pinatay nila ang ating mga uh, heroes, no? including Rizal and mga others. Given na yan. Pero mga Amerikana rin, ang dami nilang ginawa ang maras sa atin. In fact, yung Philippine-American War, what? One million died and that was by some accounts. No? Huwag nyo akong pakinggan. Basahin nyo yung mga, bina- ay, yung mga sinulat ng mga Amerikano mismo. No? Or basahin nyo yung rampage. Yung ginawa ng mga Amerikano, sina- sinira nila yung buong Manila. Talagang sinira nila yung mga kagandahan ng Manila, yung Perlas de Oriente and all of that. So, for me kasi, medyo lopsided talaga ang understanding natin. Dahil sa America, influence sa America, parating tingin natin sa America, Knight in Shining Armor, number one, numero uno, blah, blah, blah. And then, parang dinidemonize natin lahat ng legacy ng Espanya. Even if yung America, ang dami rin kalokohan na ginawa. Di ba? In fairness, pagdating sa ganito, may point naman si Tatay Digong. Eh. Ngayon ko lang kay Tatay Digong, yung babarahin ng Amerika tas tatalon sa kabila. Yun ang problema. Speaking of which, by the way, mga kameta, I know, I'm, I'm going through 10 topics at the same time. Ganun naman talaga style natin. Wala pa kasi, andito pa ako sa Starbucks eh. <laughs> Di ba ako nag-order ng Starbucks na parang mahal? Sana din na yung 3-in-1 ko. Yung Ilocano ito, Takado, Ilocano style ko talaga. No, anyway, going back to this, mga kameta. Nalaman ko over the past few days, grabe yung mga debate sa Pilipinas. At ito pa, ito pa mga kameta, ito yung interesting. Inaatake ako. Inaata- ah, weird talaga bro. I'm weird talaga guys. Bro ako ng bro. Kasi kasama natin si Manolet all the time. Bro ako ng bro. Itong weird. Ito ang weird. Parang ako pa yung mas mabait na analysis dun sa ginagawa ni Magellan Jr. Kaysa yung mga ibang vloggers na dapat in-expect mo na kay Magellan Jr. sila. So yun yung talagang... Parang, what's going on here, di ba? Eh, tayo naman, guys, balansa tayo. Siyempre, sabi ko, may problem. Parang grabe na yung frequency of travels, etc. Pero pagdating naman dun sa decision na Mike Marcus Jr. dun sa relasyon natin sa Amerika at relasyon natin sa Japan, yes, I'm very critical of yung kasaysayan ng Amerika sa atin. But I'm talking about the 21st century also right now and hindi natin kalaban ng Amerika anymore, di ba? Aliado natin sila at pwede sila tumulong sa atin. So, I think on many fronts, actually, tama yung ginagawa ni Marcos Jr. May risk yan. Of course, may risk yan. I've written about this extensively. We have discussed this. I'm gonna post the articles again. Dito sa Japan din, yung ating relasyon sa Japan, comprehensive strategic partnership, going further, expanding further, more cooperation set. Para sa akin, tama yan eh. Tama yung ginagawa niya. Kasi, ano naman yung saysay na sabihin mo gusto mo maging independent eh? Ayaw mo sa Amerika, ayaw mo sa mga puti, ayaw mo nga na, okay. And then biglang tatalon ka dun sa kabila, yung, yung mismong bully sa'yo ngayon. Anong klaseng pag-iisip yan, di ba? Or biglang sabihin mo, Russia, Russia, Russia. I mean, ako, sabi ko sa Russia, pwede naman sila tumulong sa atin dito here. But come on guys, yung nangyari sa Ukraine, medyo next level na yan, di ba? So, so, yan ang sinasabi natin. If you want truly an independent foreign policy, you also look at our interest today and look at who's the real bully, who's the possible ally, who can help us. And at the same time, of course, prepare for the risk and all. So ang nakaka, medyo nakakahilo yung nangyari dahil biglang yung mga ibang vloggers na pro marketers na alam nyo na sino mga yan, ito yung mga expert, ito yung mga resident analyst, mga ganoon, ito yung mga alam na, di ba? Yan, na tayo magbardugol, mabayit. Biglang sila yung mga attack-attack kay Marcos. Tapos nakakatawa, yung isa pa dyan, yung mga ibang columnist dyan sa ibang newspaper, whatever, ina din tayo. Wait lang, biglang may nakita akong Salvatore Ferragamo. Wait lang, na-distract na tayo. <laughs> going back to this. <laughs> Talaga. I mean, going back to this, mga kameta. Going back to this, mga kameta. Ay, 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 ay. Going back to this, kameta. Yung iba talaga, yung iba talaga. Ito pa nakakatawa. Yung para attack niya sa atin is, dilawan tayo, tapos, pero pro-junior tayo, ayaw natin si senior na ayaw. Like, sobrang walang sense. So, parang natatawa lang ako. Kasi ito pa na ito, ina ako sa iba't ibang groups. Yung mga katatay, ina ako yung mga kamarkos, ina ako yung mga kakampig, ina ako. So I see yung mga sinishare nila, including yung mga atak nila sa akin. Like, 
Pinabasa niyo ba yung mga sinishare niyo? Or yung binabasa niyo ba yung sinishare niyo yung mga iba na mga tax account? So, para for me, ang weird pag binabend diagram mo, parang wait lang. Para ako lang yung medyo objective kay Junior, Mar- Magellan Junior, na hindi masyadong bara-bara. Tapos yung mga ibang, ibang trolls at saka yung ibang vlog vloggers na biglang resident ano, na biglang columns, mga expert, mga ganun. Bigla attack ng attack. Tapos yung iba dyan, mga kameta, talaga, war daw ka agad, China, US war zone na agad, mga ganun. Like, wow, talagang, talagang lakas mag-advance, mag-isip, no? Wala talagang konsepto ng deterrence, preparation, psychological warfare, lahat ng mayan, wala eh. Ganun talaga pag vlogger ang ano, hanggang ano na lang. Uh, so anyway, so... Minsan, weird yung feeling natin, mga kameta, kasi tinitignan natin yung evolving landscape dyan sa blogger fights, blogger fights, expert fights, resonance fights, columnist na nang fights. And it's like, wait lang, bakit parang ako pa yung medyo fair kay Magellan Jr.? Speaking of, by the way, Magellan Jr., sa sa amin yung travel, travel, um, oh, by the way, yung mga nanonood ng wag po kapon, mga matatawa naman. Hindi, ito, 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 mga kameta, ito, 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 ito. Um, eh na wala na kailangan ko ng kape. No, no, no. Speaking of Magellan Jr., syempre, if I follow din tayo ng iba, ibang mga people across the political spectrum, napansin natin, si Ma'am Lenny pala, nasa Norway nung isang araw, ngayon sa Sweden, tapos nasa, ay, nasa Copenhagen, tapos nangyayon si Sweden. Tapos nakita ko rin isang araw si Ba Makino, nasa Hokkaido, may mga vlogs siya pa sa TikTok. Sabi mo, okay ito ha. Lahat na tayo, mag-ano na tayo, mag-vlogger na lang tayo. Idadaan na lang natin sa vlog kasi, nako, daming problema ng ba- bayan natin, idaan na lang natin sa vlog. No, seriously, I mean, to be honest, I think Ma'am Lenny should also do, why am I calling Ma'am Lenny? Attorney Lenny, I think she also should do, ano, she also should do um, uh, some vlogs and all. No, honestly, and really discuss yung mga lessons na natutunan niya pagdating sa good governance. Uh, medyo may dry pa ako dito. Sa Sweden, sa Scandinavian countries in terms of policy nila sa, sa social welfare, in terms of policy nila sa immigration, in terms of policy nila sa US-China-Russia, in terms of foreign policy, in terms of policy nila pagdating sa kababaihan, minority groups, issue ng corruption, rule of law. I think it would be very nice if Ma'am Le- uh, if Attorney Lenny does a number. I, I don't know how to call her because she's not the Vice President. Lenny, okay. Uh, feeling close. Yan, kung si Lenny ay mag ano, na She'll do vlogs. I mean, mga, mga bite size lang, mga few minutes ganon. Yung spontaneous, hindi yung well-prepared na my staff and doon si Bang Makino. Hindi nga, hindi talaga yung ano lang, sakto lang. Buti nga si Bang Makino, may mga Hokkaido mga TikTok-TikTok. Sabi ka, ba, vlogger na. Then, 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 serious ah, guys. Mga, siguro gagawa siya ng mga bite size explanations. Mga good, good governance lessons na pwede natin matutunan. Ako, para sa akin naman, the reasons ang Espanya ang tinitignan ko more than any other Western country is because mga kameta, ang Espanya ay pobreng bay- bansa. Not long ago, mga for, noong 1970s and 80s, pobreng bansa ito eh. Kawawa sila dito. Pero ngayon, nakahabol sila. Di ba? Of course, there's the help from EU and all of that. But still, very impressive yung transformation ng Spain within very short time. So sabi kung kaya naman Espanyol yan. Alam na Espanyol, man, I joke din. So, if you guys can do it, di ba? Na, pero para todos, all of the former colonies, no, 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 I'm serious. Eh. I mean, if they can do it, if Chile can do it to a certain degree in terms of good governance, etc., why can't Filipinas? Yun ang parati natin sinasabi yung mga kameta, no? So, mas relatable sa atin. Kasi alam natin, mahirap na bansa ng Espanya not long ago, just a generation or two ago. Kausap nga natin yung mga ibang Espanyol dito, yung mga, uh, yung mga taga-ambahada, yung ambahada, yung mga ambasador, mga ganyan. Siyempre, mga ano na yun, 60s, 50s na yan. Sabi nila, na, 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 naranasan nila yung transformation ng Spain na nung kabataan sila, tobrang pobre ang Espanya, madumi ang Madrid, hindi ganun kaganda, parang may pagka-Soviet socialist look. Pero ngayon, ang ganda na, na well-preserved na. So sabi ko, kaya naman Espanyol yan, ba't hindi, hindi tayo? Nung nasa red electrica tayo sa kanila national grid system, very smart system, etc. At kanina, nakita natin sa, uh, sa graphs that Spain actually has the most renewable, uh, balanced energy uh, system in entire Europe. No? So I was very impressed with those things, mga kameta. Ito, 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 ito. Dito sana ito, ah. Para mapakita ko. Ay, shucks, di ko ma, ano. Ito, ito. So kung titignan nito, mga kameta, Espanya talaga yung pinaka-balance, eh. Ito sa baba. Tingnan mo yung light blue ng Spain. Tingnan yung light blue. Ay, sorry, medyo pangit yung nails natin. Wala tayong tamay. <laughs> Nakita mo yung light blue? Yan. So that light blue means ang primary source nila is wind or renewable. So actually, Spain and Denmark and Lithuania have the most renewable-driven 
uh, energy source for their electricity. So, ito yung mga windmills, among others, makikita mo yung sa aeroplano. Kasi yan, dami nila mga disyerto, dami ng wind, dami ng sun. Tapos may mga new technology na for solar. Uh, and, and, they're, and, they're the big, and they're the among major economies in Europe. Sa France, mga Frances, mga Aleman, mga Ingles, whatever. Uh, ang Spain talaga ang pinaka-balance na economy. No? Uh, balance na uh, electricity generation, renewables, etc. Kaya tinignan din natin yung mga posibilidad for more cooperation with them. Although, of course, hindi ako officialist, but in my own literary capacity, etc. Sabi ko, you know, it's better to talk about other options. Hindi lang America, hindi lang mga Hapon. Although, they have a lot to offer, mga Japanese especially. Hindi lang China, mga ganun. But at least, pag-usapan din natin mga ibang basa, katulad ng Spain, for instance. No? Yun yung mga sinasabi natin, mga kameta. Anyways, thank you so much, mga kameta. Yun lang. Talagang kakaiba talaga ng Pilipinas. Kagabi, to be honest, ah, hindi, hindi tayo natulog hanggang 5 a.m. For the first time. Kasi every time nasa Europe ako, I always sleep early. But kagabi, I really had some deep thinking to do. Very, very deep thinking to do. And one of the things I realized, I always knew it, but I realized it with my heart, is that minsan burnout ka dahil frustrated ka. Frustrated ka dahil galit ka. Galit ka dahil hindi nangyayari yung pagbabago na gusto mo. Or yung nangyayari sa palagira, uh, sa sa environment mo ay hindi sangayon dun sa mga expectations mo at feeling mo uh, you're, you're powerless or you're not doing enough etc so I, th- I when I thought about it really the best solution to that is humility tanggapin mo talaga na limitado talaga ang pwede mong gawin bilang isang tao lang so ako isang tao lang simpleng tao lang tayo or yeah, simpleng tao naman talaga tayo <laughs> no, no, I mean as as a single person no uh, there's just so much i can do no and and i i should stop trying to expect you know people to think similar to me or for people to appreciate things i appreciate or for people to see the opportunities i see or challenges i see i just realized na dapat maging mas humble ka dapat talaga mas kasi patience also comes with humility humility is the most important thing if if authentic ko yung 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 humility mo hindi yung hindi ka talaga arrogant you will you will gain patience. You will better deal with anger. You will better deal with rage. You will de- better deal with frustrations. And you can better deal with burnout. Kasi madali ka with burnout. Kung meron kang ganito expectation, tapos you, go, you give it all 100%. You know, alam mo naman tayo. Tayo talagang 100% tayo. We work 15, 16 hours a day, etc. I really give all my passion and love to, to what I do. And then, of course, syempre, eh, mabagal ang pagbabago eh. At minsan, wala pa nga pagbabago. Mali pa yung direction. Um, para hindi ka ma-burn out, you have to have humility, no? Because you have to accept, you did your part, but beyond that, talaga bahala ng Diyos. Beyond that, bahala ng taong bayan. Beyond that, bahala ng konsensya ng tao. Beyond that, bahala ng tao to process it on their own. So, yun lang. So, I just felt, I think, the best medicine sometimes is just, yung totoong humility, ah, hindi yung pakyut na humility. Ay, wala po. Wag, yung hindi po. Man. Hindi, ayoko yung ganun humility. Walang kwenta yan sa akin. Gusto ko yung totoong humility, ah. You really fundamentally deep inside. Accept mo that there's just so much you can do on your own, right? And that you're not going to see the change you want to see in this world no matter what what you give right away or maybe not even your lifetime. Okay lang yan. Basta if you humbly accept na you do your best at hintayin mo na lang yung... Actually, wag mo na hintayin. Just, just do your part. And if it's meant to be, then people are going to pick up. They're gonna be they're gonna be people who want they're gonna watch my meta and say oh kaya pala ng ano na to eh etong konyong probinsyano na to mas kaya ko to mas magaling pa ako doon but i know i still i'm gonna be the first no so even if they're gonna do better, better than me at least i did the first ano the first move diba the first move talaga so i hope yung mga ibang mga bloggers youtubers or aspiring bloggers bloggers or ibang mga you know mga conscientious citizens, active citizens, educators, yung mga ibang nananod sa atin. I just hope na, na, you know, you learn from my mistakes and you learn also from the few good things that I probably do where, you know, potentially or not. And on my part, sabi ko talaga, humility is the most important thing. Genuine humility. You really accept that there's just so much you can do on your own or there's so much change you can see within a certain time frame. So, what kang masyadong KPI driven and all. And then work it from there. But having humility doesn't mean dapat wala kang dignidad. Dapat meron kang dignidad. So naisip ko rin, siguro it's time for me to be also honest with some people or some of the people that I expected more from. And I, I, I felt disappointed. Kasi ako, ayoko talagang pipilitin sa lilito. Eh. You know, when I ask 
for sponsorships or helps or something like that. You know, for me, it's like, you know, um, this is for national development project or for the better of the country project, etc. No, so, so for me, important that like, you're also very, uh, you're, you have a strong sense of yourself, you're clear with dignity and all. When you reach out to other people, you have to make sure you're not begging them for help, etc. You're doing this as part of partnership to do more for the country, etc. Because, of course, we have some plans. We have plans to do more, a little bit more high level, more podcasts, vlogs, etc. And 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 for that, you know, we have to find proper sponsors, the people or the institution who share our values, who share this passion for the country, for the best of the country, etc. So at the same time, be humble, but also don't be like. Uh, you know, power effect or begging around, etc. If there are people who don't appreciate our value, there are people who don't see the value of what we're doing, that's their problem. Alam ng just where are we coming from, that we're doing this really for for the best of the country in our own, in my own very limited capacity. And I also hope, guys, na yung mga sumusuporta sa atin, yung mga iba sa inyo, y- alam ko, alam nyo rin eh, na where is this coming from. Yung mga talaga nag-follow sa atin throughout my rankings, vlogs, and all, alam nila where I'm coming from. It's not to support a particular candidate, partner, etc. I'm supporting certain values. I'm supporting certain interests for the country. So if there's some people who don't appreciate it, well, sorry na lang. Sorry na lang for everyone. But for those who appreciate it, marami salamat. And, 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 and on my part, let me tell you, I always try to be genuinely humbly inside. Alam ko, minsan na medyo mayabang tayo, ganun yung dating natin, whatever. Alam ko na yan. I'm not gonna even deny it. But deep inside, you have to have this genuine humility when you accept. There's just so much that you can do on your own that not everyone will see the value of what you're doing right away. Some may not even see it at all. Um, and that sometimes you need patience, you need understanding, you need compassion before things align according to some expectations. But expectation management is very important. And with expectation management, that's where humility is very important. Yeah, lang mga comment. So don't worry about it. Hindi lang ako dito nagpapaturista or nagpapakyut or nagtribuna and speech and work lang. No, I'm doing some parang soul searching lang in a sense. I all constantly do that. I constantly do that. But I really had a very long night kagawi. I couldn't see one to five. I was really thinking deep about this. Like, what are we really trying to do? Where are these frustrations and pains coming from? Or how to make sure na you're not vlogging just to get out, to vent out frustration or just part the gulan for the sake of it. No, no. That you're doing things because it's coming from somewhere deep or somewhere genuine. Because if it really comes from somewhere deep and somewhere genuine, it's really in accordance to, to you know, your core values and all. Success is just a bonus. Success is just a bonus, right? Yun lang. Alright? Salamat mga kameta. Pa-shout out dyan sa cousin natin, si Patricia. Ayan, si Denise sa, 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 sa Oza, Australia, sa Down Under. Hopefully, see you guys later this year. Um, prepare na kayo dyan. Eh. Prepare na yung red, red carpet natin. Ha? Prepare na yung ano natin. Manchones natin dyan, okay? Mag-vlog din tayo dyan sa Australia, sa Down Under. Alright? I-prepare din natin yan. Kaya, ano? Hi. Basta, mga kameta. Ito na lang. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. For amable. Just give me a time of drama. Appreciate it. So, I'll talk to you guys soon. So, bukas is, or later for you guys, is the Sabbath day. So, let's, let's leave that time for contemplation, for prayers for reflections and also for prayers for, for yung mga biktima na apektado dun sa trahedya sa Turkiya and Syria among other places. So, thank you very much guys. Love you so much. I really appreciate it. And please just pray for us and hopefully we'll always find this inspiration and enlightenment to be the best version of ourselves. And salamat dun sa mga cousins sa atin. Salamat sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa atin. Of course, salamat din sa mga lahat ng mga bigyan ng uh, all sorts of support, comments, prayers, suggestions, stars, Okay, Marlon Soriano, Riz Ani, Mom Josin Lumber, super kind of you, Don Dante Stizon, Kay Eunice Babalcon, thank you very much, Mom. Lahat yan, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a blessed evening and have a blessed Sabbath day tomorrow, Sunday tomorrow, spend it with your family. Life is not just pakiot, life is not just social media, life is not just career, life is not just. Alam niyan, lahat ng mga kaliparutan, whatever, na ginagawa ng tao. No, life is way more than that. Alright, so spend time on yourself, on your mental health, physical health and spiritual health. All right? God bless. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.